in your reasoning and logic, the sentence, this happens more when I'm high. Right. Does that suggest any, not correlation, but cause and effect between your perception of what's happening and the use of mind-altering drugs? 100%. I mean, you're absolutely right. That's how come I stopped using, and it's been six months, and this continued to occur after I would leave a dealer's house or go to a dealer's house. The exact same things were occurring. I wasn't using, and that's why I wanted to be drug tested. It's been six months. Okay, well, okay, let's take, I, I put together a graphic, because I, my, especially when I practiced, I, I did okay. a lot of work on sure. brain and central nervous system. These are the long-term effects of methamphetamines. They may include addiction, of course, uh, psychosis including paranoia, hallucinations, repetitive mm -hmm. motor activities, changes in brain structure and function, deficits in thinking and motor skills, increased distractibility, memory loss, aggressive or violent behavior, mood disturbances, severe dental problems, and weight loss. Correct. Okay, now among there are, is mentioned paranoia, um, hallucinations, and changes in brain structure. These are the long-term effects, not while you're high or when you're coming down. Yes, sir. But long-term effects that can be permanent or certainly take at least a year to really clean your brain. Absolutely. So is there a possibility that the use of these drugs extensively at times, as recently as six months ago, could have altered your thinking and reasoning to the point that you're interpreting things differently than what they might actually be. Well, Is that an alternative explanation? It's absolutely an alternative explanation. I, I certainly can't argue with that. We know that people on meth have a tendency to become very paranoid. Uh, while they're using it, short-term effects, not long-term effects, but short-term effects. We know that it can stick with you for a period of time. What I'm asking is, is it a possible alternative that while you were high, you perceived you were being stalked because of the way the drugs affect you and make you hypervigilant? I'm a logical guy, so I'm going to say that, that it could be perceived as a logical explanation, but it could also be the perfect time to stalk me. If there was a schizophrenic person and he reported that he was being stalked, you probably wouldn't believe him because he's schizophrenic. So oh, I've always said the hardest thing in the world to treat is a paranoid that really does have somebody after them. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's like, right. I mean, by the way, I didn't talk about the drug results. Uh, we did a drug test, and your drug test came back negative for all substances. So, so you. Thank you.